Now we're here at the 2010 Dayton Amateur Radio uh, Hamvention, and we're here with Scott at Super Bertha Alderman Antenna Systems, W3TX, and I'm going to ask Scott to tell about a little bit about his antennas. Well, hi, thanks for coming by Super Bertha. Uh, Super Bertha started, really the, the idea started when I was about 18 years old. My tower was cut down by some vandals and I decided I'd design an antenna that uh, couldn't be cut down by vandals. And so over a number of years of research and learning, I duplicated a system that was being sold out in New Jersey, improved it a great deal, and now we have rotating poles that have no guy wires. Well, I think that's a great concept. And then over time, we've moved into other products that help, uh, that help our clients uh, populate the pole with antennas, and we also have services where we help them set up their station or take their station down. And tell me about some of the really big berthas. Some of our towers um, go as high as 200 feet. Well, that's tall. And may, may have as many as 15 different antennas up and down the side. What is the weight of a tower like that? About 18,000 pounds. Wow. And I see some slides coming up here that show some of this. Right, these are slides of some of our antenna work that we've done for clients. That's antenna fabrication. That's an antenna system we did down in Texas. A six meter system, it can actually bounce signals off the moon. Wow, that's great. And I see over there on the right a big pole. Oh, there's one. That's one being welded. That's down in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So we do all, we do all kinds of things. Many times our customers come to us with a unique request and we start with, a, with an idea and go through the, the project of planning, engineering, and implementation. Well, I think it's a great thing for those that can afford it. It's in some every ham can afford, but it's certainly, a, as I said, a super birth is a wonderful concept. It really, um, for serious RF work, this is a way to go. Well, thanks for stopping by, yeah. David. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it.